This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, so we really have a barn burner here with uh, this um, painting impossible. Now, it comes to find out that these were molded in a 3D printer. And I guess they are considered bridges that hold everything together until it can solidify. The problem is, is that I really believe that the company should have cleaned it up for, for them before they sent that out. I mean, who sends something out uh, like that? And the other thing is, is that you should you should put some bases on. Um, they did not do that. Uh, so basically, they gave you a figure and they just said, "Okay, you clean it up. It's your problem," and that's about it. So uh, we got CAD all cleaned up, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna take a look uh, before we get this all primed up because I'm trying to decide how I want to prime this. Okay, do I want to take it out and spray it? Now, because it had no bases, I decided to. Uh, implement my own bases which uh, are molded and are uh, really good and uh, perfect so uh, we're gonna use resin bases for them so um, they have that feel like they're in a dungeon and I, I really want this to come out nice and and we're trying to do this for a very dear friend so we're gonna go down and we're gonna take a look at the bases how we cleaned everything up and then we're gonna get things primed and start painting so um, all I can say it's Let's get going. We got a lot of work. Now, as you can see, we put the two bases on it. We got it pretty cleared up. The problem is, is that there is a line right here, and I'm going to have to take the X-Acto knife to it. Uh, this is not going to be easy because of where this line is, and I'm afraid that I'm going to cut some of her cloth. And it doesn't matter if I can, I mean, I can see it. It's just trying to, uh, there we go. We got it. How about that? All right. And we, oh, boy, that was a nervous cut. A nervous cut. They had a little piece in there. See, this should have been cleaned up and, and, and sent to them. I don't know why, but we got Cat right where she wants to be. The detail on the face is not that great, so I don't I don't understand the the whole thing with this. But we're gonna clean this up a little bit more, and and then we're gonna come back after I um, I get these primed up. We're gonna try to do the best we can with these. So with these, I actually, I mean, it's just problem after problem. Uh, I took some of this stuff outside and I sprayed some primer on it and it actually melted. So if I put it on these, these figures, which really don't have great detail, which I'm kind of disappointed in. So what I did is I took some of Battle and Bad and Black and used that as my primer. Uh, I went over and just got this on here and now at least I can start working out a bit. But the detail, I, you know, I've got a lot of work ahead of me on this one. So we're, we're, we're going to take this for the ride and see how far we can take it. And uh, hopefully we can we can salvage this. Um, I, I think I really believe it's a lot of false advertisement. Um, I, 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 I would not pay the money that I paid for that. They paid for these two. And uh, I'm not going to tell you how much you guys know who went there. Um, I just couldn't believe this stuff melted. Um, a good thing I decided to test it or else I would have sprayed it on these things and these, they would have melted. And I used GW of all things. Um, but uh, just a rough ride here. So we're going to keep on going. So one of the things that I've done is really just try to cover a lot of base coats. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to point out some of the things. I went with a corn red for a sash, um, a sand tallerian for the leggings. Uh, lead belcher for the sword, uh, retribution gold for the um, armbands and the two medallions. The thing I couldn't figure out was what the heck this was on his shoulder. It looks like some bone pieces. So I painted those bones, painted the skulls. Uh, there's a turtle shell here. We just put a base coat on. We put um, some very dark brown onto the boots so we can lighten up. Um, Another um, a Gorian brown, a Gor Gorfang brown, uh, for the uh, just to kind of mark out the fur lining here. Um, Kesla flesh, 
two coats so far. I, I didn't work on his hair. I'm going to work on that last uh, after I get uh, a wash and I start to pull some of the details. Um, really, really, really tough because there is no detail. <laughs> That's the problem. These are supposed to be very detailed miniatures and they're, they're not. Uh, just kind of um, worked very lightly with her. Um, we ran with a... Um, Oh God! What the heck did I use? I think I used a dark violet. Uh, no, a Nagrath Knight. Uh, I really like this because I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to bring this all back. Uh, these are not how they are going to finish up. Um, right now, I'm just kind of working a little bases around, and then I clean things up a little bit, and then I kind of get them where I want to go, and then. I'm going to start bringing detail. We're going to darken and then work out light. The hard thing is, is that I was really hoping their faces were better uh, sculpted because I really wanted to try to do some things with their faces, but um, just not great miniatures for sure. We have a lot of work here and we're going to keep on working away, but at least we we're starting to get some base coats on here and we'll work everything else around later. All right, we'll be back uh, with another update soon. All right, so we're, we're just about ready. There, there's a lot of work ahead of us. Really trying to pull the detail out is really difficult here. So I, I'm, I'm leaving certain base coats on, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a Reichlin Flesh Shade, especially for this figure here, to start to bring out some of the detail, hopefully, uh, what little detail they do have. So I'm going to get on that and... Uh, Let's get ready to do that. The real key here is making sure that you take the flesh shade. And even though you get it all over the place, we're going to be dry brushing a lot of things out. Now, with this, all I want to do is just try to create some detail here. And that's all I want to do. And just find out what I can really work on and really pull out here with this flesh shade. And I can just take and just go over the complete figure. Because what it's going to do, it's going to sit in the recesses, which is perfectly fine by me. And I'm not worried about going over the metallics or anything like that. And his hair and stuff, I'm not going to be really doing. But what I want to try to do is, is pull out some of that. I want to darken his flesh and not make him look so pasty. And what really matters here is just getting this all over. We're going to do his hair and all that stuff, but just getting it all over the, the figure itself because that's where it's going to sit. It's going to darken the figure down. So when I start, when I start what I really want to do, and that's pulling out a ton of detail, I'm going to be able to do that because I'm going to be able to see where the detail. And it's a far cry right now from where we were with this uh, not too long ago. We're going to take we're going to let this dry and you can see there's not a lot of detail in the facial structure which is is kind of worrisome but we'll try to we'll try to work on that and we're going we're going to work on pulling that out but we are getting a little bit of detail here in the abdomen um the the uh, arms um over the chest area here um and we're just darkening up Exactly what I wanted to do was just kind of darken up this fur in the back here so I can really just take and start to bring it out a bit because that's what, what we're going to try to do is try to bring out this dimensionally. And there we go. And we want to make sure that, that we really have the chest. The chest piece here is really the important part that really is going to sell this figure. And that's where we really want to have our our... Our, our wash really settle into and the rest we can really work with all right let's keep going here now right here with this cloak all I'm trying to do is just take a little bit of a lighter color and just give it a little dimension I'm trying to dig up some some detail here and it's 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 very challenging in how we're doing this now we haven't even start working on her face or anything like that but I'm trying to get the cloak at least where I feel a little more comfortable with it and that hasn't been the easiest of things 
and all I did was take a little of Gene Steeler purple and I mixed it with um, um, some skull white right here oops I'll just put it up here there uh, so you guys can see and I'm just taking and just uh, taking just a little bit of it and just kind of just trying to hit the highlights of it so it has some depth and that's what we're really trying to create here is a lot of depth and uh, it's just gonna take some work but we'll get there now here we're just adding in some of her very famous hair she has almost like orange highlights I want to say it's a reddish orange so I'm gonna go with like a um, um, I went with a Wild Rider um, red to be honest with you to see if we can fit that in and that seems to be doing the trick so far again these are just base things that we're doing and then we're gonna highlight and make it a little bit lighter and make it a little more realistic uh, there's some things that we want to fill in here and really just work on but we're waiting for a few things to dry I'm still trying to figure out what the heck this is is it green growth around it or is it fire or what but I'm gonna mess with it and see what I can come up with and uh, we're gonna just keep on going this is uh, you know we're getting there we're getting there there's a lot of areas that we're working on but we're we're, we're getting there right here I'm just trying to get these bases squared away as you can see I really tried to lighten things up I got his hair in there and um, uh, the problem is is there's just no detail to the faces they're very they're like a shadow of the face uh, of their faces so when they said it, it looks like them but there's not much detail and you really can't put eyes or or any kind of you know define any mouth structure so it, it, it's kind of like painting on a blank canvas and I don't want them to look like bug-eyed monsters so um, next thing I want to do is I want to start to highlight and just bring out the rest of his body um, these these pieces here I want to shine up that the swords and the armbands and of course um, I, um, the metal plate that goes across and with her I just put a little wash onto her her structure here and uh, it's coming along just fine we put a little scroll writing I just don't know what to do with this and uh, I'm gonna have to just try to make something up as I go but um, we'll definitely figure it out we're gonna keep going here all right I got some Necron dry compound this is really good for bringing out a uh, metallics I've already got a bunch of it on my brush here and all I'm gonna do is just yeah that's it just really make that metallic stuff really come out and he's got this little sickle here so we really want to kind of work that a little bit there we go now all of a sudden it's standing out a bit and we've got his, his little piece of metal that comes across here and connects all that right there and that's what we want to do there now we're going to do the same thing with with some of her things here she's got like a little metal container here I just want to make that sit up a little bit there we go and that really works alright perfect now we're gonna do the same thing with with a, a gold compound and we're gonna do that as well I'm gonna go over this just again and make sure that we got it real good and I'll show you what ha happens after we do the gold compound now I used a, a dry uh, a dry brush uh, paint uh, Griffin gold and you can see how the gold now all of a sudden just sits up on this character and that's exactly what we want we filled in the gold here and really made that kind of pop out a bit and I decided to go with a, a green viney type of uh, staff I think that really works with her the best so we'll be back I'm gonna finish up some more highlights and uh, we'll finally take a look now we're just taking a little administrative gray just thinning it out a little bit and just going over these bases a little bit just giving a little depth to it just very lightly all over the place and that's just going to give that stone feel just dry brushing over some of the edges here and just giving it just that little bit of a feel of stone and that's all we want to do here and we're just going nice and easy so I'm going to finish that up and we'll come back 
After that, I'm just touching up a little bit of purple that I missed a spot with. And just making sure that we got everything the way we want it. The detail on the face is really poor. So um, I kind of I kind of just left the faces with a with a wash, and hopefully the outline from the wash is enough. I mean, you could definitely tell by the facial facial structure that it's Dan, but uh, to try to put eyes and a mouth on it would just ruin this miniature. And these were just difficult to begin with. Um, just to give you a a uh, quick thing of cat and 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 uh and Dan real quick uh and actually we'll just move this up a little bit there we go and we'll just uh, zoom right in and you know there you go I mean uh from what it was to to that is probably the best I could do with my particular skill level I'm sure there's people that could take it a, a little bit further but um, be honest with you uh, you know we built the bases we, we we cleaned everything up the best we could and we got it to that point where at least they got a couple of decent models out of it and uh, there you go so let's go up top and get on out of here well there you have it that was as tough as it comes and uh, it wasn't easy. The, the plastic is horrible. Uh, the face structures weren't good enough where you could put eyes and a mouth. It would have been nice to put some lipstick on her at least. Um, just, just out of my skill range, I think. Um, but uh, I did the best I could with them. I mean, from what they were to what they are, uh, you know, uh, not the worst things in the world, but not the best either. But uh, I did the best I could. Uh, another painting impossible as you can see uh, in the bag um, we got this one done well we got another one coming up really quick because I got to get a whole bunch of stuff ready uh, pretty much overnight almost and then demo it for you guys uh, for a big sale that miniature market has coming up but for this week's uh, painting impossible uh, there you go uh, we did the best we could um, hope you guys enjoyed this um, really 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 tough <laughs> tough thing but we got through it and we we did uh, did a pretty decent job so until next time it's your old pal Rob we'll see you soon